All right, so the Associated Press All-Pro teams are out, and the 49ers have a number of players who qualified. However, there's also some snubs, especially a really big one, and you probably guess who it is. But first off, we'll go with the 49ers. Good news, and this is surprising. Talano Hufanga is a first-team All-Pro. Keep in mind that for All-Pro, there are only two of these guys at safety in the entire NFL who make the first team. And that's Minka Fitzpatrick from the Pittsburgh Steelers with six interceptions and Talanoa Hufanga in his first year starting for the 49ers. So there had been a lot of talk about Hufanga cooling off a little bit toward the end of the year. Obviously had to fix some stuff with his eyes, especially in that Raiders game. But I mean, let's be honest. He was really, really impressive this year. Instinctive play, four interceptions, and Hufanga, including that pick six, by the way, against the Rams early in the season, that was a big, big play for the 49ers. Hufanga is a first-team All-Pro. Congratulations to him. Let's get the graphic up on the screen. These are the 49ers who are AP 2022 All-Pros. First team, left tackle Trent Williams, no-brainer. Edge rusher Nick Bosa, no-brainer. Linebacker Fred Warner, no-brainer. And then Talano Hufanga got in there alongside Minka Fitzpatrick at safety. Second team, tight end George Kittle, also no-brainer, I think, for second team. Kelsey had uh, the better statistics this year, so you uh, we already saw it with the Pro Bowl voting. I think that in this case, it's going to be hard, especially when you look to see how uh, this is all divvied out for George Kittle to be above Kelsey this year. I do think that Kittle's a better blocker, better all-around tight end, but I have come to not have full faith in these voting processes to reflect such nuances. So I expected George Kittle to be a second team all-pro tight end. He, in fact, was. And George Odom was a second team all-pro special teams player. Odom, last year in Indianapolis, was a first team all-pro special teams player. But he did lead the league, George Odom did, in special teams tackles, over 20 special teams tackles for George Odom. So this recognition is deserved. Now, you might notice that there's not a player on this list, and that's this guy. Christian McCaffrey snubbed again. Unbelievable. Christian McCaffrey didn't make the NFC Pro Bowl team, and at the time that was selected, he was the NFL's all-purpose yardage leader, and now he is not one of the two running backs on either of the two NFC AP uh, on either of the two NFL AP All Pro teams. First team running back, second team running back. Nope, Christian McCaffrey would have been the third team running back, but there is no third team All Pro. Here's how the voting went down at the running back position. Josh Jacobs is your first team back, 131 votes, 42 first place votes. Nick Chubb, your second team back. 36 total votes, five first place votes. Christian McCaffrey came in third place. He had 16 total votes, including three to be on that first team, but obviously nowhere near enough to surpass Jacobs or Chubb. Making this even more maddening is the fact that there were three backs that finished ahead of Christian McCaffrey on the NFC Pro Bowl team. Those three backs were Saquon Barkley, Miles Sanders, and Tony Pollard. As you can see here, Christian McCaffrey had more votes than all of the three backs who made the Pro Bowl team had more all pro uh, all had more all pro votes than any of the three backs who made the NFC Pro Bowl team over him combined because Miles Sanders and Tony Pollard didn't get a single all pro vote. Saquon Barkley got 3. So there is inconsistency in this voting process. And that, I think, only serves to pour salt into some of this wound. This obviously upset Christian McCaffrey, both of these awards. The fact that he didn't get the All-Pro nor the Pro Bowl vote, this has obviously uh, helped make the chip on this man's shoulder even bigger. And George Kittle had, I thought, a good quote, a good representation of what might be going on in Christian McCaffrey's head. He said the other day, quote, I hope he stays pissed off because He's been pissed off the last four weeks, and all he's done is dominate. So the 49ers need to hope that Christian McCaffrey uses this as fuel entering the NFL postseason. 49ers play the Seahawks tomorrow in the rain at Levi Stadium. The rain has returned to the Bay Area after a dry Thursday, so I'm guessing they got that saloon font all tarped up 
at Levi's Stadium. The red paint needs to be protected from the wet conditions so it could dry, it could be ready for the game. Uh, I am 100% certain that has been the protocol at Levi's Stadium today as the rain has returned to the Bay Area and is expected back during the game tomorrow against the Seahawks. Let's focus, though, you know, on perhaps the biggest surprise because Christian McCaffrey getting snubbed isn't a surprise anymore. I've covered him getting snubbed from the Heisman at Stanford. I've now covered him getting snubbed from the Pro Bowl and from an All-Pro team. Uh, And, you know, let me emphasize one more time, put his name back up on the screen. Christian McCaffrey completely transformed the 49ers this year. The offense just turbocharged the number one offense in the league. And this was, you know, Jimmy Garoppolo played with McCaffrey and so did Purdy. The offense was just as efficient under Garoppolo as it was with Purdy. The variable that changed is Christian McCaffrey coming in starting in week eight, right? Week seven, he was there for 24 hours, played a few snaps against the Chiefs. But starting in week eight, when McCaffrey threw for a touchdown, McCaffrey ran for a touchdown, and McCaffrey caught a touchdown, that is when the 49ers offense hit overdrive. And it's been that way ever since. And they've moved into the top tier of the efficiency rankings, even offensively since then. So Christian McCaffrey and the way that he spaces the field. I mean, another great stat right here is the 49ers were the number 26 efficiency run game before Christian McCaffrey showed up. And they've been the number three efficiency run game by DVOA post Christian McCaffrey's arrival. So he's transformed the run game. He's transformed the pass game. When you look at the statistics of both Jimmy Garoppolo and Brock Purdy at or near the top of the league for both quarterbacks, right? And the 49ers have been undefeated ever since Christian McCaffrey started for them, 10 and 0. I don't know how you can argue with that resume. I mean, he should be in the MVP conversation, yet he didn't make the Pro Bowl or the All Pro team. So, in my opinion, absolutely ridiculous. But let's talk about Talano Hufanga making first team All Pro. Congratulations to him. It's Talano Hufanga and Minka Fitzpatrick, the two NFL safeties who made that first team all pro and I will say that it is another testament to the 49ers success drafting in the fifth round look at this 49ers fifth round selections in the John Lynch era and I guess we should also tack on Adam Peters onto that because Adam Peters has been with the team in the personnel department since the start of this regime George Kittle picked in the fifth round of the 2017 draft DJ Reed picked in the fifth round of the 2018 draft. Dre Greenlaw picked in the fifth round of the 2019 draft. And Talano Hufanga picked in the fifth round of the 2021 draft. It's not just the fifth round, too. What about the sixth? Elijah Mitchell in the sixth round of 2021. DJ Jones in the sixth round of 2017. Or how about the seventh round? Brock Purdy, Mr. Irrelevant, number 262, seventh round of the 2022 draft. Jawan Jennings seventh round of the 2020 draft. These are a ton of gems found in the lower rounds, five, six, and seven. And that is absolutely a testament to the 49ers scouting department because fifth round, sixth round, and seventh round picks are not obvious picks. The scouting department has to really find something that they like there and then obviously convince the brass, the people that are ultimately going to make the drafting decision to pull the trigger. And with all those players, the 49ers have definitely hit. Tano Hufanga is the latest all pro of the 49ers fifth round selections. George Kittle has obviously gotten that award before and this year as a second team all pro. But Tano Hufanga, first team all pro, 49ers loaded with talent, the pro bowl and the all pro teams do illustrate that, but they don't tell the whole story because Christian McCaffrey is not there. So the 49ers are loaded with even more talent than these Pro Bowl and all pro teams would indicate. And that is why they're favored by nine and a half points against the Seattle Seahawks entering tomorrow's game. All right, that's been the update. 49ers all pro team and their snubs. Christian McCaffrey, we could say that over and over again. We'll see what that does for his motivation entering the postseason as the 49ers look to make it 11 straight in this must-win game against the Seahawks.